Hi, it's Zobble1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. And today I'm bringing you some fun footage of my Orca being way out of its depth. So recently at a CG, I decided to use the Orca quite a bit for some luxury piracy. And luxury piracy is great. But my poor little Orca got stuck in some combat situations and was probably quite far out of its depth. Uh, here I'm battling an FDL, which is attacking my wingmate, so I'm trying to help out as best I can. But basically I'm just a distraction because when that ship turns on me my shields melt and i have to get out of there pretty quick um but to be fair it can be a nuisance the orca and the advantage of being an orca is it's fast and can jump out on most things most ships that are going to be a danger to you you can get away from pretty quickly either by low waking back up or just straight lining it out of there so it has some advantages in that it can escape from absolutely anything that's a threat to it and it's great fun to pirate in because it's so luxurious. It's it's so opulent. It's just great. Um, I love using my Orca and my Clipper because they both feel like luxury ships to be using the pirate. Um, I think the Clipper was born to be a pirate ship. And the Orca is just hilarious as a pirate ship. And neither of them... Well, the Orca is not my weakest pirate ship by far. It's got nearly double the shields of my Clipper and certainly a lot more shields than my Cobra Mark IV shieldless pirate ship. But... It is a very, very fun, silly ship. Now, there was an incident that happened while I was at the CG. Uh, one of my roommates spotted a combat logger, and I joined him to try and kill him. Unfortunately, I wasn't successful at navigating the uh, asteroid field, as you'll see. <laughs> but let's face it, my eagerness to get a shot on a combat locker really outweighs my caution there. And uh, it was a terrible bit of flying, but I got some shots in on the combat locker before he was killed. Uh, pretty much, uh, he was getting annihilated long before I arrived, and he would have been killed whether I was there or not. But it's nice to know that I got some shots in there. And um, don't worry, I will show the evidence that he was a combat logger in the second half of the video. Because uh, I don't want to be mean about people. Uh, I'm, I gotta say, there is a chance that it was a menu log, it's hard to tell, but you know, it was enough that yes, he definitely deserved being pounced upon and killed later. But, you know, these things happen. CGs are always odd places to be. Anyway, time for an ad break. So, we're going to take a pause to take a quick look at what you guys sponsor. With your guys' views, you help out Big Red Rooster Cockerel Rescue, helping out cocks of all sizes, all shapes, and for the love of the cock, keep watching so we can raise money for this lovely little animal rescue and save birds by my little co-pilot here. So I gotta say, in summary, the Orca is a fun, fun pirate ship, but totally lacking when it comes to combat, or at least with me at the helm. Um, I think Frodo's built one that was better in combat, but you know, um, I hurriedly threw on the weapons because I I don't have a good weapon loadout for the Orca as yet. Um, I'm thinking I might have to do some pack hounds and maybe a large beam laser at some point, but you know. I've tried all multi cannons, it doesn't float my boat. I'm, I like the frag and the two multi cannons, but it's a bit silly. Um, all frag, I've got the clipper for that. Um, you know, maybe some fixed missile racks, but then missiles are always dodgy in a ship this fast because you might run into your own missiles. 
And there's loads of different like choices to make and I haven't found the right choice for me. But I can be a nuisance in a fight in it. I can be a distraction, but uh, I'm certainly not achieving anything in here. But then, I, uh, you know, oh yeah, here's that uh, footage from uh, Dryer Ash showing the clip of the guy that we killed and why he wanted to kill him. Um, I think it's fair enough. It's, like I say, it's a bit of an odd one because it, anytime it's a log when the guy's that healthy, it, it's a bit suspicious because why would you log when you're that healthy? But there was comms apparently, so uh, you know, it is what it is. The guy vanished. Uh, the guy took a rebuy, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. You know, we, we managed to get him in the asteroid field. And um, I didn't die even though I hit every single rock. This is why I don't take part in rock fights. Because, yeah, my eagerness and bad piloting is a bad combination for an asteroid field. Um, also, I suck at piloting, what can you say? Uh, but I had fun in this fight. Uh, but once my wingmate jumped out, I had no intention of continuing the fight against the FDL. Even though the FDL was quite weak at that point, yeah, yeah. Um, not as weak as my pirate ship. So, uh, yeah, as soon as my uh, wingmate jumps out, I'm getting the hell out of there. Um, you know, it's just a fun, silly ship to use for a bit of a giggle. Um, I know that there's so many people in this game that I feel sorry for because they'll only fly strong or powerful ships. Uh, they won't have fun in silly ships. They won't get out of strong, powerful ships. And one of the things about this game, it doesn't matter what you're in, because like as long as you've got a certain amount of shields or you know a sensible way of escaping, it's very hard to die in this game. I mean, I say that as someone that's died a lot in this game. Um, but, you know, you don't have to die, even if you're in a weak or silly ship. My Type 7 survived tons of encounters with gankers. You know, this Orca has silly amounts of speed. It can high, it can low wake on most people. You know, and any time you can high wake, you're just conceding ground which no one really cares about. I mean, you know, I know you'll probably get someone post the um, evasion hyperspace clip, but then the people who usually post that high wake loads anyway, so... You know, it's always a nice bit of projection you get. But I am quite happy to high wake, low wake, and escape any which way I can. I don't care. Uh, you know, people can call me a coward for not wanting to fight in my pirate ships all day long. I don't mind. I'm always magnanimous in defeat and always happy to have a bit of fun. And occasionally I win. So who cares? That's all. Thank you very much for watching.